Hey everyone, Chris Gabbett here for thephotographer.com, and today I'm here to show you guys a very, very cool plugin for Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. It's called Perfectly Clear, and what it essentially does is it lets you make edits to your files, I guess that would be the best way to describe it, edits to your Lightroom files, whether they are RAWs or JPEGs or what have you, basically to make them look perfectly clear and perfect, essentially. So, I'm going to take you through. Let's use this one right here. Actually, no, that's not really a good example. Let's use this one instead. So this is a JPEG file right now, and I'll find the raw in a little bit, and we'll edit that. But in order for me to edit this file, I will right-click right here, and I'll choose Edit In. But before I do that, let me show you the other way to do it. You can actually go to File, and then Export, and then you can export it into Perfectly Clear as well. But the way that I really like to do it is by right-clicking and then going to edit in and then going to edit in perfectly clear. And now I have a whole bunch of choices. I can either edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments that I made, I can either edit a copy or I can edit the original. I'm going to choose to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. And what I set it to do actually is I set it to create a TIFF file. So it's going to create a TIFF duplicate of this file. And then I'm going to be able to edit it and then those edits are going to translate over into the TIFF. So we've got that file right there loaded up, and now perfectly clear loaded up. So this is what it looks like so far. But if I click on it, you'll see the original, which is what I had before in Lightroom. Now if I unclick, you'll see the changes were. So the original is darker, and right now it's bringing up more of more detail out of the shadows. You can really see that right there. You can see it over there. You can see it more over there as well, too. So right now I'm in the default preset. So if I click off Tint Correction, you'll see that the colors did change a bit. I'll do that one more time. Yeah, there you go. And in addition to that, I can also choose to set the exposures. Now I want the exposure there. I can choose the contrast. Yeah, you know, I do want more contrast to this. So I'm just going to slide that up a bit. And you see it almost in real time. I mean, right now I'm at 95 and I'm sliding down. You don't see any changes, but when I let go, then you start to see the changes. So I'm going to dial that back. Uh, 93 is close enough. And there's also things that I really love for portraits. Ex uh, blah. Sorry. Portraits especially, such as light diffusion. And actually, when you hover over, it will tell you what each uh, modification does. So if I click on light diffusion, you'll see it becomes a little bit brighter around the greens. Not too much though. But either way, I'm pretty fairly happy with this image, so I'm going to save it. And what it's actually going to do is it's going to save as a TIFF. I have not been able to find a setting that allows you to save it as a JPEG instead. So, either way, I mean, it's going to save it as a TIFF right now. And that's the TIFF. And as you'll notice, uh, Lightroom's going to take forever to load it, whatever. Anyway, so there we go. Yeah, there's my TIFF. So now I can actually export this into my perfectly clear review for video. That's what I'll call this. And I'll export it. And now I'm exporting it as a JPEG. Now let's find a raw image. I'm going to go back to my library. And I'm going to choose something else. Let's choose... Hmm. No, not my Rokinon stuff. Santacon. Yeah, these are raw files. I'll choose these. So this is a photo I shot at SantaCon, actually. And to show you guys what it really totally does, what I'm going to do is, see, first off, note that this is a total raw. But I'm going to reset the file back to the original uh, status. 
And now we're going to edit it in perfectly clear, and we're going to see the difference. So let me go to edit in, perfectly clear, Lightroom plugin, and it's going to give me the options again. It's going to let me save it as a, it's going to create a TIFF rather. So once it does that, we'll be ready to roll. So it's created the TIFF, and now it will open in a bit can take a little bit. So this is what it looks like right now. That's the original. Now I have presets in here and actually one of my favorites is general portraits that I created myself. Here's what the original portraits would do. See how the contrast is lowered? Now general portraits is my choice personally. So I'm going to warm this image up more and I'm also going to raise the exposure uh, I like that, yeah I'm going to choose to zoom in more, let's see what that's like yeah, see, now you can really see the differences and I think that's really about it, I'm, for the most part I'm done with this and now I'm going to save it And it's going to save. Can take a while sometimes, it really can. And then once again, hold on. Let's show you guys this. That was the original. And this is the edit. Don't mind my IMs in the background. So I'm going to export this. Call it for video 2. And there we go. Now, what I was actually wondering about is if the built-in Lightroom presets would be able to do the same thing if I wanted. So, let's auto-tone. No, they would. N doesn't look like they would be able to. Punch is close, but it doesn't give me that nice warmth to the image. No, that's... no. Oh, that's ugly. So what this was, this was a cross-process filter, and it looks pretty cool, it looks kind of something like Hipstamatic would produce, but that's not really what I'm looking for right now. Creative Split Tone, Edge Effects, the Vignette, no, Auto Tone, Grayscale, Zeroed, Heavy, Light. No, it doesn't really look like there are presets created, but let me go into my user presets. I have quite a bit of cool ones. Fuji Pro 100C rendering looks really cool, actually, but it's not what I want for this. Hot Potato? Eh, that's cool, too, but it's not what I want for this once again. So perfectly clear, what it will really do is make an image look as close to perfect instead of flawed as you possibly can get. And as you see, even now, even with Lightroom preset renderings, uh, that's close, with Kodachrome Memorial, you still aren't really able to get things perfectly clear, per se. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, I'm Chris Campit for the Fublographer.com, and take care.